Thank you all for being here. We are grateful that you would take the time. Uh, I'm honored to be joined by colleagues here in the state Senate, uh, Democrats and Republicans alike, to announce a new bipartisan Senate policy package to address two significant challenges facing every community here in the Golden State, the fentanyl crisis and retail theft and community-based crimes. This morning, if you're looking for catchy sound bites on fentanyl and retail theft, uh, you're in the wrong place. But if you're looking for a sound approach to be able to improve the life of everyday Californians, this is the place to be. Senate Democrats and Senate Republicans are setting aside politics and coming together, coming to, together to advance a data-driven policy solution package. We're calling it the Safer California Plan. This plan is going to help address the challenges that impact countless individuals, countless individuals and families in the Golden State related to the fentanyl crisis and theft. There are two parts to the Safer California plan that we would like to be able to outline today. And I want to start talking about our comprehensive approach to combating the fentanyl crisis, and then we're going to talk about retail theft and community-based crimes. First, on fentanyl. You know, so many families have been impacted by addiction here in California, and this includes mine. And Californians deserve better than endless arguing. They deserve better than easy answers and empty promises. The Senate has spent nine months, nine months focusing on the crisis through our fentanyl working group. We dove deep into the causes, the issues, and the solutions surrounding this crisis. And I want to thank the members of that working group who are here today. Senator Wahab, Senator Skinner, Senator Umberg, Senator Eggman, Senator Roth, and Senator Weiner. Uh, they have been amazing in this pursuit to be able to solve this crisis. And I also want to say thank you so much to Senator Ochoa Bogue for leading the Republican effort as well. It's so good to see you. These group of dedicated senators met with all sides of the crisis over these past nine months. We met with health care professionals. We met with local and federal law enforcement, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. We met with community health centers and hospital leaders and addiction specialists. The experts that we heard from, we heard from emphasized the best way to stop this fentanyl crisis, and they couldn't have been more clear. We need more prevention and increased access to addiction treatment. The Senate's Safer California Plan on Fentanyl is evidence-based, and it focuses on three key policy areas. Number one, increasing access to treatment. Number two, enhancing addiction services for those individuals in the criminal justice system to be able to stop the recidivism rate we see throughout the state on drug offenses. And number three, it penalizes fentanyl trafficking of xalazine, which is a horse tranquilizer now being laced in fentanyl across this country and right here in the state of California. Now I'd like to be able to switch to the issue of retail theft and community-based crimes. All of us. All of us here today work within communities impacted by retail theft. Too many small businesses and larger retail stores are being hit and it needs to stop. Too many shoppers and store personnel are being put in harm's way. In the Safer California plan, we go after retail theft by cracking down on professional thieves, making it harder to sell stolen goods online. We strengthen tools for law enforcement to make arrests and prosecute brazen criminal activity. Our plan builds on more than $100 million of investments we've made in the last several years to help law enforcement take on retail theft. None of these theft bills, none of the theft bills, would mean revisions to Prop 47, even though strategic enhancements would be implemented on specific retail and community-based crimes. The Safer California plan advances, advances an approach that we desperately need. That is a balanced approach, and that's what the majority of Californians want. And don't take my word for it. Recent polling shows us that half of all Californians want more resources to be able to combat the fentanyl crisis, and they want some increased penalties on retail theft. Half of all Californians. 22% want to enact just increased penalties. Another 22% just want to enact resources into expanded treatment programs. We're working on these new legislative proposals in partnership with the governor's office. These are California values. These are California values. And they are what's behind the bills in this package. The steps that we've taken in the past, and I hope every step forward we take on this in the future.